welcome back to the La La Land Crafts YouTube channel. This is Irina and I am here with day 16 of our 18 days of tutorials. I can't believe we came so far, only two more days left. I hope you're enjoying this series. I hope you're learning a few things, uh, some tips and tricks and the card making and other 3D projects that we've made. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel and please comment on the videos for a chance to win one of three gift certificates, $50 gift certificates to our online store. We will do the drawing from all of the comments, including the comments on our blog on December 19th. Today we're making this super adorable card with little Bonnie and he is from the Snow Amazing stamp set. We are using paper from the Blue Christmas paper pack and we are using one of our dies. The snowflake pocket is besides the bunny, this is the star of this project. We have it on the front as an embellishment, as a kind of lacy snowflakes here, along with the heel and other elements. And then on the inside, it's a gift card pocket, or you can use pocket for any other things. Okay, let's start with the tutorial. As you can see, I have my card base cut, all of my layers cut. You'll find measurements for all of these layers in the video description below. I'm going to start with the inside of the card today. Before I put them together, I'm going to use my scoring board and give it eighth of an inch on the smallest layer and on the largest layer. This creates a really nice additional element on the cards and you've probably seen me <laughs> do it on every single card that I make. Look how pretty that looks. It makes such a big difference. Little thing, but makes huge difference. Now, one more thing we're going to have on the inside of the card is the pocket. We're going to use the snowflake pocket die. I already die cut it. When you die cut it, it will give you the line right here where you fold. Depending on what kind of card stock you're using, you might want to reinforce those folds. So this is quarter of an inch measurement right here. I'm going just over the same lines to make them fold easier because since I'm using thicker cardstock. When you fold this, be really careful because the design is so close to the fold line. Don't rush through this step and then use bone folder to make your folds. The smaller layer is going to be right inside of our pocket. I'm going to slide it in. See how nice and finished this looks? So pretty. So now I'm going to turn it to the other side, unfold the flaps and put adhesive right on the flaps and then fold them back. It looks so beautiful white on white, almost like it's embossed. Now this is ready to be put onto the next layer and onto the larger one and then I'm going to go ahead and put it on the inside of the card. And this pocket you can use for the gift card that fits like so, or you can put photographs here of your family, or you can add cash or another little note, tuck something in. It's really just looks very pretty and finished on the inside. Card goes to the side. We're going to work on our top layer. This pretty beautiful polka dot paper is from Blue Christmas paper pack. I don't know if you can see on the video, it looks like it has a little bit of the texture and the polka dots are so cute. And this is the second pocket. I already folded it. The pocket for the front of the car is going to go on the side 
But before I put it, before I attach it, I have a few other things I have here. This is the part of the stitched nested circles. I used this yesterday in the white cards and when I was making eight cards at once, the like kind of mass production. So I had a few of these pieces left. I'm going to use one of them. So this is just cut diagonally on the side right here to give it another element. It just looks pretty with the stitching. Then I have the winter heel and this is this die right here. It's already cut. That's gonna go on the bottom here. And then the last thing that I'm going to have here is the sentiment. I'm going to stamp the sentiment and I'll show you. It's actually from the same stamp set as the bunny. It's from Snow Amazing Clear stamp set. It comes with four different cute bunnies and the sentiments I'm going to use there is no bunny like you. I'm going to stamp it in black archival ink on the piece of the white cardstock. Then I can put my flag over it. So I want my sentiment to be closer to the flag right here and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I'm going to position everything first, line it up the way I want it to look. It's going to be on the larger square at the end. So I want, I think I want my heel come out more. I'm going to start with the, actually going to start this my little frame first and then add other elements. Okay, so now finally I can put this pocket on and because we're not going to use it as a pocket but instead this is our embellishment here, I'm going to glue this part on so it sits on the card flat and looks like almost like embossing. It looks really pretty. I hope you can see all of the elements, the dimension that it gives. I could have cut the, this flaps off, but I actually like for this how it wraps around and creates such a nicer, cleaner look to this. Now this is ready to go onto the larger layer. And next onto my polka dot layer. Next I'm going to put this layer on the three millimeter foam and then onto my card base. Now the last thing is my little bunny here. I'm going to add a few sequins to make it even more festive. And here it is. I really, really love how simple but so cute, so adorable it looks with the, all the white and white elements with the blue polka dots just showing around and the colored bunny image. You can send this card to anyone who is special to you. It doesn't even have to be Christmas card and can be just any winter occasion. And this is all from me for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment on the video. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 17. Bye for now.